We see it too often. Police chases in Mobile. Tonight, a man is in custody after officers say he stole an ambulance and led them on a violent chase. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey joins us live tonight. Muriel, this is not the first time an ambulance has been stolen here in Mobile. Kim, two years ago, a man stole an ambulance from a hospital, and this kind of raises the question on if ambulance protocol should be changed so people cannot steal them. This was the scene after Mobile Police caught up with a stolen ambulance Friday. We were inside our house and heard what sounded like an ambulance. Then we heard a police car and another one and another one. Police say Lee Michael Lamont stole the ambulance from Mobile Infirmary after it had just dropped off a patient. This isn't the first time someone has hopped in a running ambulance and took off. In October of 2017, police say Yaman Stiegel stole an ambulance outside the ER at Providence Hospital. The chase ended when he flipped on I-10. So it's not really pull up, turn it off like you would your, your average personal vehicle. Mobile Fire Rescue spokesperson Stephen Milhouse says they have to keep the ambulances running when they're loading and unloading patients. Tons of medical equipment and electronic devices on the our ambulances and while the ambulance is running those devices recharge. He says that equipment needs to be ready for the next call. However, Millhouse says after the 2017 theft, they added anti theft devices to their newer ambulances that could be modified. He says the one stolen today was equipped with that device, but for some reason it didn't do what it was supposed to do. It did have some malfunction issues. Yes, um, and we're looking into that. But the case was the guy just hopped in and he was able to take off with it. And Millhouse tells me that that ambulance today was heavily damaged. So he says they won't be using it for a while. But again, he says they will look into why that device malfunctioned. Reporting live in Mobile, Muriel Bailey, NBC 15 News.